Hi everyone. We're going to answer 32, number 32 from the 2018 star release exam. And we have this line here. And we notice that this is on 6. So we have a lot of 6s here. Well, this is where x is 6. Um, this line is not crossing our y. So there is no y equals on this. So right away, I can cross these out. And the slope, if you have a slope of negative 1 sixth or 6, that's going to be a, you know, this one would be a steep incline, and this would be a, a slow decline. So we got to determine if the answer is G or J. So we have the X to slip, uh, 6 everywhere X is 6. So I'm going to pick two points. I want to pick this one, which is 6, 0. And I'll pick another one. One, two, three, four, five. I'll pick that one. That one is six comma five. And if you do your slope formula, it's y sub two minus y sub one divided by x sub two minus x sub one. And I'll let this one be point one, point two. So this is x one, y one. This one's x2, y2. All right. So when you plug it in, you're going to get uh, 5 minus 0 over 6 minus 6. So you're going to get 5 divided by 0. Now, you can't divide by 0. There's nothing that you get an answer to that when you multiply it back to 0 gives you a 5. And I want you to think of it this way because this problem right here seems easy. You could just memorize it, but you're really going to use this a lot when you get in higher mathematics. So when you're dividing by zero, I want you to draw zero. That's not a very good zero, but draw a zero. And then we're going to write this in three dimension. We're going to do this. That's not a very good one. So basically, when you divide by zero, that's when you have... Um, this is like go the water going down the drain. This is like a tornado. Um, this is what happens when you divide by zero. Or a whirlpool, like water going down the drain. So maybe that will help you remember that you cannot divide by zero. Now, so this is the answer. The slope is undefined. It's not even a function because it doesn't pass the vertical line test. Now let's look at this one. First of all, this doesn't even make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to y and graph that one. So if this was y equals 6 and slope is 0, you go up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there it is, no slope. It's supposed to be a straight line. This is y equals 6. And then the slope is 0 because there's no rise over run. And I want to show you real quick. I want to pick two points. This point is 0, 6. That's your y-intercept. I'll pick a nice one here. This is 3, so I'll pick this one. And this one's 3, 6. Everywhere y is 6, no matter what point. This is supposed to be straight. No matter what point you pick. Now use your slope formula, and you're going to take your y, so you get 6 minus 6, divided by your x's, which is 3 minus 0. So you get 0 over 3. Now that does equal zero because zero times three equals zero. So just remember the difference between those two. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye. Math class, Miss Shaw's class. Boy, I love math. Miss Shaw's class, Miss Shaw's class. Don't fail. Watch Miss Shaw's videos for free.